Hello, welcome to Civilization 4, Set 4, Part 5. This is sort of a playthrough and uh, something to give you a rough idea of how the game is played. Um, okay, let's just get on with it. I'm exploring, looking for new places to settle, and there may be some bit of land here. I don't know, this is my kingdom or whatever it is. Now I don't want to swap the world map with him now, actually. No. Not any more chappies. I've discovered stuff. Some barbarians again. Oop. Now clearly there's places to go. Now let's get on with trying to settle them then. Alright, I need what a crossbow man. That takes one turn, that takes one turn, makes very little difference then, he's a bit stronger. Actually, no, the crossbow man's pretty good. So I'll have a crossbow man, a worker, a settler, and a galleon. <coughs> Great scientist. Now, which is my best science city? Here we can have a look at the stats. Science is biggest in Medina. So I'm going to go send my great scientist there first. And build a great academy there. All right. Can I do free market? Is that better than mercantilism? I lose a free specialist. I gain trade routes. Ooh. Don't know. Maybe. I lose my free specialists. Mm. I'm going to stick with mercantilism for the moment until I'm running out of money or something. Then I might have to switch, but it's not important right now. Gunpowder, maybe. Hey, that would be a good one for here. It's sort of like a, the Forbidden Palace, which is another building which does the same. It reduces the maintenance cost in, roughly speaking, its adjacent cities, nearby ones anyway. So that saves you money, basically. Ooh. A great merchant. Ooh, well, I, ooh. I don't think there's anywhere he can go, because he can't even go over this ice, it's impassable, isn't it? If I, if I look up here, can he wander around? I'll have to send him in a boat somewhere here. Yeah, okay, well, I'll have to build a boat for him. I'll build a galleon for him here, maybe. Send him here. And in this city, I will build... Well, a caravel can carry a great person, can't it? Movement of three, movement of four, I'll send him in a galleon, I need galleons anyway. Now, 
Ultimately, it's going to be used for city defence, this guy, so I'll boost that. A work boat, go and do your stuff somewhere. Right. A work boat is an ocean going version of a worker, except that it's consumed fully when you use it, when you build anything with it. scientists are there so I can build an academy which greatly increases the research that the city does not doing badly ooh Maya Can trade what? What will you give me for silk, dear? Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's an open border with everybody. All right. Okay. Wait. Hold the galleon. on the galley and now let's go down here and see where I can settle. Might as well try and oh, there's some land down here. Oh there's iron oh, there are iron and clams on this southern bit of land. What have we got here? Hmm. Iron clams and wine up here. Well this looks like a good spot then doesn't it really? What's this? A great profit. I think I have already had a golden age, so I would need two great people to be exterminated. I could do that because I've got a guy sitting over here waiting for a ship, but I don't want to exterminate him. So I will just have him join the city as a super specialist. Build some more guys to settle, shall we? Crossbowman. Oh, boy. Now here I need, I think I need to build a city up north on here. So let's just go here and do the same thing. Except without the galleon, they're going to make me on land. So he can uh, get on the galleon, and the galleon will go to somewhere reasonably wealthy, but a long way away. Who's this guy? The Vikings. The Vikings? Have I met them? No, I haven't. 
Hmm. Interesting. I've met the Mayans. Fifteen there. Kilgosh is weaker. And what's down here? There's places to settle down here as well, potentially. Let's meet the Vikings, shall we? Oh, twelve. Hmm. Let's meet the Vikings anyway. One of the things about this game is it's it's often kind of sensible to just keep on expanding within reason. Sometimes you you need to concentrate on other things, like I had that war at the beginning. But it can be helpful to colonise other lands and so on. Expand, explore, create, appropriate, I suppose. Go forth and multiply, as they say. A couple of spare work boats there, I see. Hmm. They'll be needed later, perhaps. Another great merchant. Ooh. Might be a risk to put him on the same boat. I think what I'll do is build another separate boat here. There we go. Oh, after Versailles, I suppose. Shift click to put it after. Ah, uh, I have met the Vikings. Uh, they're not that great, but they're a long way away. Keeping it secret, because you guys will populate all those wretched islands. Uh, this is the green guy there. Let me examine the city. I'm a little under healthy. So a grocer increases health a bit. I can't just kill some slaves and build them immediately, but... It's no longer that kind of an age, I'm afraid. Nostalgia, eh? Hey? Look. Board the galleon, please. And the galleon will go and settle somewhere on this island as well, I think. There's fish there. Fish there. The clams here. Let's go to the southern end for the moment. I don't know what's here, you see. This might be a good spot, depending on what's here. But if I'm here, for example, I can farm those squares anyway. So that looks like a good spot. Send him back home. Didn't take him long to get there, did it? Mm. 
reveals oil. That might be actually worth knowing if there's oil around. Oh, well, there's only a limited number of Buddhist stupas you can build. I think it's like four temples allows you to build one of those. So I should build it in my culture cities because it gives you plus 50% culture. I should. Okay. What's so special about this place? Really? Nothing. Um. The game obviously likes it. Do everything, everything here except the iron, which is, after all, I should have a little extra. It's not that crucial that iron to me now, actually. Um, from here, I could get a little bit of food out of the tundra. Just do it, just to stop them to keep on building stuff here, maybe. Mm, um, let me stuff that and just have a look at what's down here. I mean, really, I should be building them about here or here, like it says, where I can get the cows, but that's too close to here. So, actually, here's a good spot. Because I'm, I've got the cows on one side, the iron on the other, and, well, there's a bit of a gap here in production. Should be in this row, really. If I want the cows, I could have built it here and then I miss out on the iron. But then I could build another one up there. Ooh, there's a mountain in the way. Well, I don't actually need the iron anymore. I've got plenty. It, well, it might help. You never know. There are corporations later in the game and they give you benefits based on what resources you have sometimes. So, the game says there, but it's thinking about all these, I think. Um, one row up, two rows up, and the third row up. I'm looking at there with a bit of overlap. Well, there it doesn't overlap the other city, but it doesn't get the cows, it doesn't get the iron. It's just an empty city. No, I'm going to go here. What the heck? Now, you guys settle in. Ultimate fortify. Let's get the next lot ready. Hey? Ooh, a musketeer now. It should be galleon on its way back, so we can wait for it. Nope. Right. He's going to be used for defence. So, city defence it is. Barbarian triremes attacking my caravels. They don't have much chance, really. The 
house of Versailles has been built. I'm sure it was exactly like that. I can automate him totally, I can tell him to connect up resources with this button, or I can tell him to just develop the nearest city. I'm just going to automate him totally, and it usually does something for its own city first before running off elsewhere. Oh, another chappy, hello. Um, open borders. Cheers, and... Ooh. Want some silk? And... Say some ivory. Very good. Explore. So there's some land down here unexplored as well. South Pole, it's kind of um, an ice agey kind of planet, isn't it? city is starving. I need to do something to improve that situation if I possibly can. How much I can do, build a grocer, perhaps it may help because the city is unhealthy. Now where is this Buddhist stupa going to be? Viking land. Now, yes, can I build a Buddhist stupa here by any chance? I can. So after the Globe Theatre, I will build a Buddhist stupa. In fact, Probably I should build a Buddhist stupa before the Globe Theatre, which is instead of shift click, it's control click. Globe Theatre is nice, but the Buddhist stupa is nicer in terms of culture. If I look at the victory charts at the moment, culture, I'm way ahead of the civilizations I've discovered. Power, so so. Crop yield, so so. Well, good, but. Not great. That's manufactured goods is doing nicely. Gold is very nice. Okay. Maybe I can um, increase the rate of culture research and increase the rate of science research. I don't think it's a good idea to do too much scientific research. The money is very useful, I have to say. Um, you can buy research from other guys later if you need to. You can get away with even winding the research all the way down to nothing. Uh, biology. Trendy Kelly, let's build a university. Courthouse. There's oil up there, I see oil. Now you, hop on the boat. 
And who's Pakal? Alright, so I should be heading down here and trading with Pakal. Just get here. That's a pretty good location. Let's build it. Let's not build a workboat straight away, let's just build a theatre. Now the galleon can go where? Possibly up north. Or I could plonk, squeeze somebody in here just about, but it's not that great. Maybe you should be going somewhere else altogether. Well, I could stick someone on here. He's clammed here as well, I suppose. Or there's the southern islands where there is iron, fish, and all sorts of stuff. The village there. Let's head straight for the village, first of all. Deal with the natives. Conduct a trade mission, please. 1407 gold in my pocket. Thank you. I think you can head back home just in case I need you again. You can do stuff with diplomacy and have a few friends and have a few enemies and fight some big world wars, but I, I really prefer to uh, avoid it if I can. The whole point of civilization to me is to have a, a peaceful victory, isn't it? War is not civilized. Oh, oil. I had better go there, make sure I've got some. Time for another set of guys, I'm afraid, quickly. One, two, three. I think there's a galleon on the way back, isn't there? Is that an explorer? Might as well send him here. Middle, middling power. Open borders, okay. Trade proposal. <clears throat> Clam for sheep. Okay. Augustine. Oh, I can add him to this city. Let's add him to another city for a change. It makes people work harder <clears throat> because they believe all that religious stuff. Another great merchant. Was he on that ship? No. Oh, I see. I think he was not just explorer, he was the great merchant, right? Just go out here. Just double check. No, he's not on that ship. No, he's on that ship. Okay. Head off to Pakal, please, as you were in the first place. Okay. 
Sorry for gold. Well, no, I don't want to help people explore stuff. Just at this point of time. Well, that's it for part five. I'll see you in part six.